Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Cruise, playing 25 years old for the last 30 years. CIA owns this? No, no. Uh, independent aviation consultants. I-A-C, yeah. You run the company, but after hours you work for us. Takes pictures? The work is covert. Covert. So uh, anyone finds out about it, uh, family, friends, even uh, Lucy. It's Lucy, right? Yeah, that's right. That'd be a problem. Oh, this is legal? If you're doing it for the good guys? Yeah. <laughs> Just don't get caught. <laughs> American Made tells the true story of Barry Seal, uh, a pilot who worked for TWA and then ended up smuggling drugs for the worst drug cartel in the history of mankind as well as working for the government in several different ways. It weaves this story with the benefit of having Tom Cruise in the lead. Is it a story we want to hear? Well, here's five things you might want to know about American Made. So let's start here. I think this is a really well-made film. Doug Lyman knows what he's doing, especially in terms of action. Uh, this movie is a movie that is energetic. What he really gets, I think, about action is the progress of scene to scene. Those moments where there's not a lot of action going on, he still uses the camera to tell us interesting things or to keep us occupied or to keep us compelled. So you never feel bored during this movie and the action itself is entertaining. It's interesting. It's fun. Overall, I think Doug Lyman knows what he's doing when he's making an action movie. Doug Lyman's also doing some really smart things here. I guess I shouldn't attribute it all to him. There's some really interesting ways the script is worked. There's interesting ways the the editing is done, use of camcorder footage, use of titles even is creative and interesting and fun here. Fun's a key word. It's not only a creative movie, it's a fun movie. There's some visual gags that I think work really well. Uh, the characters have a tone that I think fits the consistency of the movie that they wanted to make. And because of that, you really get a sense that they put this together in a very smart way and you have a good time throughout. And we can't go any further without mentioning the star, Thomas Cruise Mapather IV, or as we all know him, Tom Cruise. Man, this dude is charismatic. What he is doing on screen is so similar to what he's done many times before. He's even a hotshot pilot in this one. The thing is, he's just so good at it. You just believe and like this guy so much. And this movie is doing a lot to emphasize his cleverness, how you like him. And when you've got an actor like Tom Cruise in the role, you're just going to enjoy being along for the ride. But here's the thing, and this is where the movie starts to fall apart for me. Not completely, but this is a big negative. He's too likable. I, this is not a character I want to be that likable. Some of the things he's doing without going into spoilers are awful, awful things. Uh, just mentioning the drug cartels alone should be a place where I'm not like, I don't want to root for this guy. So there's that cognitive dissonance where he's so likable, he's so charismatic, he's being so clever, and yet he's doing awful things. Now, this is your typical anti-hero. Like I think of Bateman recently in Ozark or, of course, Walter White in Breaking Bad. Uh, the difference is those guys, you could feel the weight of their awful decisions on them. You could feel the consequences of what they were doing in their life. I don't think this movie is doing that. In fact, I think this movie wants to maintain its, ah, all fun and games kind of tone, kind of like catch me if you can. It wants to have that kind of Leo DiCaprio kind of snarky character that's just being clever and getting away with it. Except for what Leo was doing in that movie was a lot tamer than what Tom Cruise is doing in this movie. It's kind of Wolf of Wall Street meets Catch Me If You Can, and the two things just don't seem to live together very well. And here's the thing, which makes it even worse for me, but I'll go ahead and give this a yellow because I don't know that it matters to everybody. Because some people just want to focus on the movie itself, not worry about the true story. But I looked up some of the true story of this guy, Barry Seal, and from what I could find, and I'm no expert, I just use the internet like anybody else can, I think he's an even worse dude than this movie makes him out to be. Some of the facts that they changed or seem to change 
about his life to make him look better and be more of a kind of a heroic, uh, madcap kind of hero, I really have a problem with. And that bothers me in recommending a movie like this. Even though it's a well-made film that holds your attention and all that kind of stuff, uh, I think I have an issue with them designing a real-life person to be a hero-ish when they were seemingly obviously a villain in real life. Overall, I feel like that's what brings American Made down for me. The idea that it could be a fun movie, get the action, there's a lot of fun humor, Tom Cruise is great, but this dude just isn't worthy of being looked at in this way, and so for me that brings it down all the way to a B minus. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. We'll get to the best ever challenge here in a bit. Before we do though, I wanna let you know if you wanna connect further, you can hit me up on Twitter, Aaron Dicer, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. -E uh, let's hang out there. Also, you can do the podcast thing. If you listen to podcasts, it's Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P. -P. Just search for it in your podcast player. We have a great time every week talking about movies, other fun pop culture stuff. Uh, you can also hit me up on YouTube. Subscribe, leave comments, all that kind of fun stuff here on YouTube. And finally, thank you so much for your support of this YouTube channel through Patreon. Patreon.com slash your movie friend starts at three bucks a month. And it's been humbling to see people send their dollars my way because they believe in what I'm doing here and honestly helps me continue to do what I do. So thank you for doing that. All right, on to the best ever challenge where you name the best ever movie in a particular category and also try to identify my choice. Um, we're gonna go with best ever Doug Lyman movie since he directed this one. He's done some good ones. There is another obvious choice, but I'm gonna go with the movie that I could watch over and over and over and over and over again. Take a guess at mine in the comments. First person to get it right does get a point. I'd love to see your choice there as well. Feel free to leave me a clue for yours and I'll try to guess your favorite Doug Lyman movie. As always, here's a few extra seconds to hit subscribe. Just click my face.